going to the line of Matthew Vanderpool, how are you going to play that? I think going into the last line was already a bit too late for me. I tried uh, tried my last time all in a uh, 2K to go, and I, I thought I would was alone uh, for a few seconds, but then he was uh, that lady was in my wheel, so I knew it would be difficult. Uh, yeah. Just take it back. Talk about all the attacks today. Talk about those attacks of Victor Campanards. How were you playing it up to that last kilometer? Yeah. First of all, it was a really long final. It was, uh, I think, a really nice race uh, and a really uh, yeah, tense final. I gambled a bit and I went a few times all in. For sure, the last one. Um, Steve Van Kung, I think he uh, was pulling a lot, a uh, long time behind uh, me and Victor. So yeah, that was maybe a bigger chance for me to win in the sprint time with uh, Mathieu. Yeah. When you race on a Wednesday, do you have to think about Sunday? Do you have to keep anything in the tank for the big one on Sunday? No. <laughs> if I want to keep something in the tank, I, uh, I stay home and I go training. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about spending too much. Riders don't worry about spending too much today for a big monument on a Sunday. I think the guys on the on the uh, start line up. Uh, I think the guys who want to save a bit are at home. Not just training today, uh, it's also what we saw today, a really long final. I think uh, 75k we did with uh, six, seven guys already uh, in front. Um, and still four days till Flanders. Uh, I also, yeah, I only did five, six races now, so I really needed today also, I think. And I've told, I've canvassed your colleagues and everybody's saying, wow, well, Ben Yarks this Sunday, he's going to be the guy who wins. If it's not him, if it's not you, if it's not someone from your team, who do you pick for the winner on Sunday? Uh, I think I would say Van der Poel. Yeah. 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 Why? Uh, I think it speaks for itself. Yeah. Yeah.